In this video, I want to demonstrate how to draw this center point three point arc as shown here. So first, I want to start a new part. So I'm going to come up to the drop down menu, select File, New. I want a part, and it's the default, so I'll say OK. We'll give it a minute, and it started a new part. Remember, my units are here, so I'm working in inch for now. If I want it metric, I could switch to that, or I could edit the document units and make custom units, but I'm OK with this. And now I want to create a sketch in the front plane. Previously, to create a sketch in the front plane, we came over here, selected the plane, and then selected sketch. This time I want to show you a different way to start a sketch. So what I'm going to do is select the sketch ribbon. Then I'm going to come up here and select sketch. And it's going to ask me which plane I wish to sketch in. You'll notice also the feature tree has moved to the top left-hand corner of our graphics area. So I want to sketch in the front plane. I can scroll down and select the front plane there or I can just select it here in the graphics area. So I've selected the front plane and I'm now sketching. So to start a three point arc, I can come up here and choose the three point arc. There's an arrow here so I can choose exactly which type. So I'll select the center point arc and then I'll choose my type. I want a center point arc where I click on the center and then notice the numbers here. I want to click on the center, move over, click the starting point move over again and click the end point for a three point arc. So I want the center of my arc to be on the origin. So I'm going to click here and then I'm going to move over and I'm going to click and then I'm going to follow it around this way. If it's going the wrong way, I can always come back and do this until I get the correct direction. And then I'm going to come down and click to have created it. So I'm going to push escape. So that's my three point arc. The next thing I want is I want it to sweep through 180 degrees and each endpoint to be horizontal and in line with or coincident with the origin. To do that, I'm going to select one endpoint, then I'm going to hold control on the keyboard. I'm going to select the origin, it's still holding control, I'm going to select the next endpoint. I'm going to release control, then I'm going to move up here and I'm going to select horizontal. If I miss this little pop up window, I can always add the horizontal relationship here. So I'll click in white space and we see all our relationships. So this horizontal says this endpoint and the origin are horizontal, and this horizontal says the origin and this endpoint are horizontal. And here we see the center of the arc is coincident with the origin. So once again, I'm going to use mouse gestures and I'm going to activate smart dimension. I'm going to select my arc. I'm going to move off and click to place it. And now I'm going to enter the feature size of 0.4. Push enter on my keyboard to accept it. And you'll notice it says radius 0.4 because it's less than a full circle. You can push escape to stop dimensioning. If this was a full circle, it would have put the diameter here. If for whatever reason I do want the diameter now, I can right click on the dimension. I can come down to display options and tell it to display as diameter. So now I have the diameter symbol and I see the diameter or I can do the same thing for any diameter dimension. I can right click on the dimension Move down to display options and tell it to display as a radius. So in the next video, we'll continue with this sketch from there.